Hi everyone, Joe for jazpyscasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case break of 2023 Bowman Baseball Jumbo Edition, all eight boxes. This is pick your team number 16. Big thanks to uh, everybody here for making it happen. Uh, now, we gave away over half the league in that filler there. So it's essentially, it's a random team break inside a, inside a pick your team break. So it's a little bit of a hybrid here. Thanks, everybody. No matter how you got in, whether you got a spot straight up or whether you helped out with the filler, I appreciate you. Hui Nguyen with the uh, Nationals. Last spot mojo. 60, 60? No, 70%. It's been hitting well these days. 70% of the time, last spot mojo has been hitting 100% of the time. Wow, oh, Mookie Betts. Did he score from first? He went first to third? Freddie Freeman with a triple. Dodgers up 6-3 on the Twins. Nice. Now, believe it or not, Ladies and gentlemen, in between all of our boxes we've sold out here in the shop, between the cases and cases and cases and cases of personal breaks that Instagram has done, at Jaspi's Breaks, Instagram Live, and the 15 cases, we're on break 16 now, but of the 15 pick your team cases we've done here on this side, plus I think we did a random player break and a triple hobby case break and et cetera, et cetera and all the packs we've used as fillers. Blah, 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 blah. Jaspies has not seen a super fractor out of here. Maybe this is the case where we see a super, which would be awesome. Okay, if not, we'll keep searching. I also, I also didn't realize that Minnesota did a little rebrand. I think some of their, one of their alternate jerseys has a new uh, M. It's the M cap thing going here, which I think looks a, it's nice. It's, it looks a little too Marlins logo-y. Max Muncy, three for three, two home runs, three RBIs. Not too shabby. All right, good luck, boys. So no paper, well, all card chip except for paper vet commons. RC paper will obviously ship. Oh, what else? There's like like prospect paper that's not like a Bowman first. That's not going to ship. That definitely will. Bowman first paper will ship. All right. So with that being said, let's start flying through this, and I'll we'll start highlighting some of the key players we're looking at as well. Our first auto that's going to be Brandon Walter, Speckle Auto to two ninety nine. That's for the Red Sox. That's going to go to Stephen P. And of course, we'll do an autograph recap at the very end of this video. If you're watching live, you're just stuck with me. <laughs> but if you're watching uh, the recap, you can fast forward to the end if you don't want to watch the whole thing. 
So Justin Crawford, Carl Crawford's kid, one of the one of the players that we're looking out for. There's Justin Henry Malloy, Aqua Shimmer to 125. That's for Kevin and the Braves. There's Manny Machado to 399. Lime green paper for the Padres. That'll be for Stephen P. And our next auto is William Lugo, 121 out of 255. That'll be for Scott and the New York Mets. Purple chrome autograph. Spencer Jones, one of those guys that we're looking for. Get a little extra attention. It's going to go to the Yankees. That will be for Scott and the Bronx Bombers. We've got a Daniel Giarte. Purple paper to 199. That's for the Brewers. That's for Chris. We got uh, Yiner Fernandez, 19 out of 99. Prince. Green grass parallel for the Dodgers. That's going to be for Mark. And my Dodgers up 6-3 on the Twins. And we got Nick Vogt. Autograph for the Padres. That's for Stephen P. and the Friars. Kim Collier got to look out for for the Reds. Cam Collier for the Reds. Once again, that's for Scott. And Drew Jones, Chrome, Jeremy Taylor, Diamondbacks. First, Drew Jones. Maybe we'll find some color, maybe some ink. Both would be nice. All right, box one in the books. Next box. Is 1999 his birth year? It could be. Uh, it is not. He's 2002. He was signed by the Dodgers in 
um, let's take a look around the league. What happened today? We only had one hockey game on. The Dallas Stars advanced to the Western Conference Finals. They'll be facing the Golden Knights. No basketball, but my Lakers, Nuggets at or uh, Lakers at Nuggets starts tomorrow. In baseball, the Giants beat the Phillies six to three. Padres shut out the Royals four nothing. Michael Waka. Uh, Took a no-hitter through seven or eight innings, I think. Royals only ended up with two hits. Diamondbacks beat the A's 5-2. to two. Rockies beat the Reds 9-8. to eight. Brenton Doyle fuels Rockies with two-run homer night. Or two, with a two-homer night. Oh, I don't like that. I just added him... Uh, on my fantasy baseball team, we only run waivers twice a week. So that's probably, I was hoping to kind of sneaky. Oh no. You can't be giving up three run homers to Trevor Larnock, the NCL Monte. Now the game is tied, 6-6. Six, six. 415 feet. Whew. And I think it's a relatively cool night at Dodger Stadium. It'll take a lot to get that out of there. It's a brand new ball game. It's Chris Bryant to 4.99. That'll be for Matt in Colorado. And there's Jace Bowen, 34 out of 4.99 refractor autograph for the Pirates. That's for Jeremy. Jeremy Port and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Port, Pittsburgh Pirates. Pirates making Port in Pittsburgh for Port. Good alliteration there. Drew Jones paper for Jeremy. Cam Collier, Chrome. And we got a Drew Jones. Paper to 299. Nice. 27 out of 299. Jeremy Taylor with the Diamondbacks. This is the kind of stuff we're looking for. Nice. Your number two overall pick. All right, we got a Justin Crawford, Bowman first paper, and we got a prospects in the modern prospects insert Drew Jones. We got Johanhel Aponte. That's uh Thun with the uh, the Blue Jays. Some lunar coming up. We got James Wood. Oh, piece of candy. 101 out of 125. That's uh, Hui Nguyen with the Nats. With the Aqua Lunar. Drew Jones Chrome.
Edward Julian, that's another guy that we're keeping an eye out for. For the Twins, that's going to be it's going to be for Matt in Minnesota. And we've got a Andres Mesa. That's going to go to Jeremy and the Rangers. Got the Rangers in the filler, just like the Pirates as well. Got a Justin Crawford out of 199. Bowman first. Magenta for the Phillies. Scott with the Phillies. Won the Phillies in that filler that we did. Nice. All right, nice box. Let's get another one rolling. All right, let's see if the Dodgers can win one here. Alright, what else what else is going on in, in, in Major League Baseball? A Bregman home run apparently helped uh, the Astros regain regain a lead in Houston. They beat the Cubs six four. Oof, Braves put the hurt on the Rangers. Look, look at this. Uh, oh, there was that, that uh, Under Armour autograph right there. That oftentimes means we get an extra auto. But let's, let's keep an eye for that. Uh, Rangers had 10 hits in the game, but zero runs. Braves only had two extra hits on them, 12. They had 12 runs. Wow. Thanks to an Ozuna home run, an Arcia home run, Pilar home run, Riley home run, Acuna Jr. home run. That'll do it. Cardinals put the hurt on the Brewers, 18 to one. And apparently there's an Andrew Neiser, Grand Slam. Four of those 18 runs, wow. I think they have Wilson Contreras back at catcher now. That's kind of an odd little run of events. I think, uh, I guess they weren't happy with the way you're used to, I guess, having pitchers and catchers prepare a certain way before each game. I guess they weren't really getting that with Wilson Contreras. Which makes you wonder a couple things. A, what were they doing in Chicago? Were they preparing for games inadequately? Here's Nelson Velasquez to 499. For the Cubs, that'll be for Eric. One that's five. There's Jorge Burgos, Cleveland. This is for you, Scott, with that one. And my next question was, the Cardinals saw the Cubs multiple times a year for the last five, six years, however long Wilson Contreras has been in the league. They didn't, they, you know, 
They had no idea about their their preparation styles and how it might differ. When they signed him that big contract, did they not give him a heads up about their preparation style? Was this not worked on during spring training? He, I think Wilson Contreras skipped the uh, World Baseball Classic to work with the pitchers specifically. People weren't giving him a heads up how things are done. Uh, odd situation all around. Here's Tony Blanco Jr. to 299. Speckle for the Pirates. That's going to go to Jeremy. Edward Julian from Minnesota and a Carlos Jorge for the Reds to 399. It's going to go to Scott and the Red Legs. That's a team you bought straight up. And for Minnesota, Matt with Minnesota, he bought this team straight up too. Appreciate that. There's the Under Armour Baseball Factory, All-America Baseball, Under Armour Baseball, All-America, on-card autograph. It's Hunter Barco, who plays for, everyone knows this, right? Plays for the Pirates. And that's going to go to Jeremy Port and the Pirates won that team in the filler. Now, every time I've seen one of those autographs, I, uh, I've seen that that acts as almost an extra autograph. I feel like I've seen a few more. So, let's see. There's a Angel uh, Genau. To 499. Refractor autograph, another one for Scott and the Guardians. Won that team in the filler. Cleveland, this is for you. Miguel Vargas with a two out double in the bottom of the eighth. Miguel Vargas, ladies and gentlemen, has really started to, things have really started to click for him. By the end of the season, there may be. Two candidates for Rookie of the Year, James Outman and Miguel Vargas for NL Rookie of the Year. Justin Crawford, and we got a purple Ray Wave Averson Arteaga to 250 for the Giants. That's going to be for Scott, another team he won in the filler. We got an Andrew Painter Sites on September autograph. 12 out of 30. That goes to Scott and the Phillies. Won that team in the filler. Nice. I mean, he's supposed to be real good. So that's one, two, three, four autos, ladies and gentlemen. So there's that extra auto. The Under Armour Auto Box generally indicates a four auto instead of the standard three. Nice. Good job, David Peralta. That scores Miguel Vargas. That puts Peralta stand up double, two outs. Nicely done.
I just ripped it right down the right field line. Great job. Some clutch hitting there. Charge! There's Miguel Vargas right there. Alright, Eric, what's going on? What happened to Machado? Did he get beaned? He left the game early. Did he really? Yeah, he had one at bat. No idea. Um... Looks like Manny Machado, according to MLB.com, exits after hit by pitch. Yeah, he, you're right. He was being to left hand. All right, fourth box. Some of the other scores around the league. Mariners beat the Red Sox 10 to 1. Cal Raleigh had two homers tonight. That's good for my fantasy team. Yankees beat the Blue Jays seven to four. Angels beat the uh, beat the Orioles nine to five. Shohei Otani made the start and was a double away from a cycle. But I still think he had like a four for five day or a five for six day or something like that and a walk. Almost cycle. Nationals beat the Mets 10 to 3. CJ Abrams with a homer. And that's all the games that are in the books. Uh, last game is this Dodgers game right here. They're up 7 to 6. Scoring that run in the bottom of the eighth, taking the one run lead. Wow. <laughs> that David Peralta shot down the right field line. I think they just showed a replay of it. I was like a, looked like it was an inch or two foul. But the first base ump called it fair. And oddly, the, uh, oddly the twins did not challenge. Spencer, I've seen some Spencer Jones paper, but nothing, nothing significant after that. Joe Pizzle, what's going on? I don't understand that reference. Hi, kids. Do you like violence? Is that a Simpsons reference? Maybe uh, the movie It, perhaps? Here's a Drew Jones, Invicta Gold. 16 out of 50. Nice one for Jeremy, who got the diamond back straight up. Oh, right. That is Eminem lyrics, right? Early hit of his. Spencer Jones, paper for the Yankees. That'll go to Scott. Got that straight up. Yeah, Joe Pizzle's sad times for his sons. I, I What do you think, Joe Pizzle? You, th you think Monty Williams should have gotten the sack? I feel like... Uh, I feel like that was a little unfair. Now, I, I, I get it. New owner probably wants to get his own guy in there. Right. There's 37 out of 125. Angel Janau for, uh, for the Guardians. That's Aqua Shimmer. It'll be for Scott in Cleveland. And then we got Josu De Paula. For the Dodgers, it's going to go to Mark. Good 
Right, that's the thing. Well, yeah, you you better have... DePaul is a big hit. There you go, Mark. Joe Pizzle. Who knows a thing or two about minor league baseball. Living in Arizona. Um, I mean, maybe th this year would be the year to make that move. There's some, there are some, uh, I mean, I like Monty Williams as a coach. I think he's really good, but I don't know. Budenholzer's out there. He got fired by the Bucks. I feel like that was a little, a little quick too, but what about, uh, who else is out there? Uh, Nick Nurse, I think, is still out there, right? Raptors, former Raptors coach. Did Ty Lue get fired? But there are some names out there. Damn. Oh, the twins tie the game. Is his contract? Oh, Drew Jones, refractor autograph, 46 out of 499. Jeremy Taylor got the Diamondback straight up. Scared money don't make money. Nice. Nice refractor autograph. Great. And I feel like... Like the centering looks pretty, pretty decent there. Yeah, what a box. To Paula and Jones, same box. And the the we got the Invicta Drew Jones as well, the 50 non-auto. But I know those Invicta cards aren't super common. Real nice. This will be a good recap at the end. And a bunch of that Drew Jones paper, some chrome as well. We still have one more auto to go out of here. Well, it's just like a Spencer Jones or something like that. That'd be crazy. We got Lisandro Rodriguez, purple paper for the Royals. That goes to Eric. Justin Crawford, Chrome, DePaula, Speckle to 299 for the Dodgers. That's for Mark. Got a cub. We got Moises Ballesteros. That's going to go to Eric M and the Cubs. Eric got that in the filler. Edward Julian paper, Justin Crawford paper. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we got more of this in the store. We, I just loaded up another case, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Get your team before... Before someone else does. Come on, bullpen.
At least in the bottom of the ninth. Dang, man. All right, halfway through this full case break, we got another case, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. What's going on with Yancey and Evan Phillips here? Yancey, yeah, I've never really been too high on, but no, Phillips, Phillips should I be better. A lot more from him. Blake Trent's not pitching at all this year, yeah? <sighs> I don't think so. I so think it'd be. Look at that, uh, is it David or Will Bednar from the Pirates? I love that guy right now. He's great. Yeah. I could see, uh, who's the White Sox closer? Liam Hendricks. I mean, they're, they're another bad two weeks from the fire sale, I think. Yeah, well. I also wouldn't like Tim Anderson. Tim Anderson for a year, too. LBC time. for real, what's going on? Uh, yeah, I, I think there's a real possibility of, you know, depending on how things go. Because if Syndergaard isn't going to cut it, and if Miguel yeah, Rojas... Yeah. Joe, I can tell you right now. He ain't it. He ain't good. And if Miguel Rojas, obviously, he's not known for his bat. Yeah, Tim Anderson, maybe a starting pitcher from the White Sox, maybe a homegrown guy. Yeah, guy I used just, to used like to a, play out here. This is like an MLB the show trade. Right, yeah. But like it's just like Tim Anderson, Liam Hendricks, and Dylan Cease. Right. right. Or Lucas Giolito. Bring Giolito back home. Giolito here. Pitched at home, like you said, and with our, with our pitching staff, and with our, you know, our and gurus. Oh. And then send him, like, Pepio, and send him, like, yeah. you know, send him some guys. You want, like, a, an outside top 100 prospect? Yeah, sure. Gotcha. Yeah. And, I, like, basically anyone not named uh, Bobby Miller, Gavin Stone, and a few other guys, maybe. Cartaya, but... Bush. And yeah, Bush probably not. Although, Bush maybe, because there's really no place for him. Yeah. So maybe, maybe you, maybe you do have to just kind of bite the bullet and give him a Michael Bush or something like that, but in exchange for those guys... This seems pretty nasty, too. Johan Duran. You know, I mean, there's there's a reason why the Dodgers have that farm system. You can't play them all, you know? So something's got to something's gotta give. And I'd much rather have proven major league talent than a prospect any day of the week. Right, and you could, and you could still... You know, develop prospects too. Yeah. Other prospects while while all this is happening. We draft and sign internationally and develop incredibly well. It's like why we're the Dodgers. Right. One of one of three. What? Uh, what? Wait, what happened? Johan Duran just hit one of three. Jeez. And then ninety nine on a oh, sinker that moves like a changeup. Yeah, he can't find the strike zone though. That's an issue. Justin Crawford double oh five out of three ninety nine. We've got a lava here for the Phillies. Scott with the fight and fills. Yeah, LBC for real. How long's that? Uh, how long's that leash for uh, for Noah Syndergaard? Does he get one more start? Maybe he did not do very well today. My colleague Chris Jaspi heard his voice in the background was saying that you know what? It's really looking like he's gonna just be the have that David Price role from last year. Here's Randy De Jesus for the Halos. That's gonna go to Stephen P. You know, like the Dodgers are up five or six or down five or six, you know. You just bring on Noah Syndergaard to gobble up some innings. I mean, I was rooting for him. I, I, I was, I, I was hoping for a little uh, redemption story, a reclamation project that Dodgers are so good at. Not even in the bullpen, he's got no chance. I guess not. He's seen enough. Syndergaard as an angel. He, I think he did all right down the stretch with the Phillies, though, right? But I don't think he got too much, too many innings in the playoffs, though.
Will Smith could walk this off. A little solo shot, he can do it. Yeah, a lot of Syndergaard's pitches was off of his sort of mid to high 90s fastball. That set everything else up, yeah. I think you're right. I don't think he has, you know, he doesn't really have the... It's a little ground out. I'm going to bonus baseball for the Dodgers, Dodgers twins. Um, and there's Alex Ramirez, the Cam Collier paper. Blue Lunar to 150. Nice little color match there to the moon for the Mets, for Scott. But yeah, and Tindergaard's not going to be like a, you know, hasn't really developed sort of a pinpoint control to be able to sort of paint corners and, you know, do all that sort of stuff. But yeah, I don't, I don't know if he's going to get another start or he might get another start or two, but and Dodgers are playing well. And they're putting together some a nice little run. I think they're... Do they have the best record in the NL now? I think so. Close to it. So they've got they've got some leash. Here's how you lee to 499. That's for the Phillies. That's going to go to Scott. So you might get another start or two. It's Kumar Rocker, 499. For the Rangers, that'll be for Jeremy. Yeah, will he get designated for assignment? I'm not sure. I, I feel like they may try to bury him on the IL and just be like, oh yeah, that blister's still bothering him and kind of put him on the IL just to figure it out. Maybe give like Dodgers prospect Gavin Stone like another start or two and then make Syndergaard do like a rehab start or two in the minors and just kind of kind of pass the buck until they until, until they see what they can do with him if he doesn't really and then probably give him another couple starts after that and if it still doesn't work out yeah they might just outright designate him and just release him or they might just kind of use him as a long reliever in like blowout games or something like that. Or if the Dodgers are getting blown out. Again, that David Price role. David Price really didn't pitch a lot last season either. That's uh, Tan with the uh, Tan with the Blue Jays, that is. Gets the Yohan Hell. So I think that's what's going to happen with Syndergaard if he doesn't make some sort of miraculous turnaround because I'd rather take a shot with some of the youngsters even Bobby Miller, who I think won't be ready until next year, but but yeah, I'd rather give some some young guy a chance before you know might as well give the innings to him. No, I'm pretty sure Price is a. Uh, I think Price's contract ended last year, and I think he like I think he officially retired. Let's see how my fantasy team did today. I've got a I feel I'm in a 16 team league. It's a lot of sharp baseball guys. It's a keeper league. It's an auction league. It's very challenging. Um, free agent budget as well. We only run waivers twice a week. Offense apparently has been my issue, but they really woke bats really woke up today. I needed that. Needed that big time. I've got Cal Raleigh who went three for five with a couple home runs. Spencer Steer at first base, three for five with a double. Jeff McNeil waking up a little bit. I need him to balance out my low average guys. Two for four. Nice. You've got to work on that third base spot, Gio Urshela, but he still hit pretty well. Two for four and a double. I got uh, Jake Berger back off the aisle, so I think he'll he'll be occupying that Urshela spot. 
Trey Turner needs to wake up a little bit this season. I, I was I need, I need him for some stolen bases, for some average. Oh no! Oh, the Dodgers gave up on this game. They put in Phil Bigford. Bases are loaded, of course. Um, I picked up. Uh, I didn't realize that Dominic Fletcher is David Fletcher's brother, younger brother. But he's on the Diamondbacks. I picked him up. He he won for five with a double. But he's he's been playing pretty well. I think he's pretty close in everyday role for the Diamondbacks. They're trying to fit him somewhere somewhere anywhere. Brandon Marsh went 0 for 3 with a walk. He started off the season real hot. But just as quickly as he was hot, he's now now cold. Yeah, I like Urshela, LBC for real. Uh, I think someone else has Moniac already. I'm telling you, it's a sharp, it's a sharp league. No one, no one's sleeping on Moniac. Oh, actually, no, he is available on waivers. I should try to check him out. Got Brandon Nemo, one for five. Kevin Crimeer picked up recently, two for three with a double. I have Otani. Did not put him in the pitching spot because my pitching stats are doing pretty well. He went four for five, almost hit for the cycle. Why does he have a injury designation next to his name? Oh, he's battling through neck stiffness as of an hour ago. Interesting. And none of my starters went today. All right, next box. I'm always surprised when like youngsters like Mickey Money aren't picked up yet. Like even when I read like, you know, fan graphs and, and read like deep waiver wire pickups or whatever articles they have similar to that. I'm like three quarters of these guys are already gone in my league. Oh, i got to dig really deep. Here's uh, Damon Keith. 103 out of 299. Speckle autograph from Mark and the Dodgers. Got the Dodgers straight up. Bigford's going to figure it out, Joe Davis. No, I don't like this Bigford guy. LBC for real. I feel like there there was there was certainly some promise here when we got him from uh, Milwaukee, maybe? Or maybe he was coming off an arm injury or something like that, but he just hasn't really quite been there. He's been given the opportunities in higher leverage situations, but just hasn't really looked the part. There's Ariel Almonte. Purple Chrome to 250 for the Reds. That's for Scott. Eric Houston's asking, uh, maybe LBC for real has some answers. I have a bunch of Moniac autos. Sell or hold? I feel like hold. Yeah, see, LBC saying keep Moniac. I don't know if it's control issues, just a lot of... Uh, a lot of meatball pitches issue. I don't know if it's a sequencing thing or if it's just, stuff is just not sharp, but it's just a lot of guys seem to just be barreling up on him, just getting making solid contact all the time and finding all the holes. Here's 56 out of 100, Pedro Ramirez, Atomic. Autograph for the Cubbies, that's gonna go to Eric. 
LBC thinks he's going to be a stud. What about Karenik? Kellenic? What about Jared Kellenic? I feel like I'm if, if I had to if I had to choose I I, I kind of like both. I think Moniak maybe like a change of scenery. He's from San Diego, I think. I think like a change of scenery, maybe a fresh start on a new team. He's healthy. There's a Drew Jones and a yellow paper, Xavier Isaac, 75. But I think Moniak just got called up, Eric. I saw an interview with him on MLB Network earlier today. Yeah, he got called up a few days ago. And two days ago, or actually his first at-bat of the season for the Angels was a homer. So you can probably check out some Angels games. And you know you can you can do the eye test, see how he looks. I think the problem is is the uh, no I'm saying the the Phillies got rid of him. Yeah, Moniac. Yeah, three three for four, two stolen base, three on score. Eric Houston. So, I feel like, is the outfield a little crowded? I feel, are there a lot of guys in the outfield? Or maybe Moniak will play his way into, the, into that outfield. Here is Samil De La Rosa. That's going to go to Jeremy and the Cardinals. No, they got Moniak from the Phillies in the offseason. Angels got, the, got Moniak from the Phillies in the offseason. That's the former number one overall pick. I think he was with the Phillies for a little bit, but just never... He's kind of a late bloomer, really. Moniac. He's been injured a little bit. Which has been an issue. Or just ineffective for a little bit. I and mean, I think there's just a lot of pressure. Here's Hidden Gems, Nolan Gorman. This has to be a short print, right? I feel like... I feel like I've never seen this before. <laughs> Not live anyway. There's Jeremy with the Cardinals. Wow, Phil Bickford had the bases loaded with no outs. Gets a gift from the ump with a strikeout and then gets a long flyout. Have you you've never seen that Joe Pizzle hidden gems? I feel like I saw like a I don't know, I feel like I saw a picture of that like as a potential card to be pulled. But I don't think I've ever seen this live. All right, two boxes to go. I can't believe Bigford got out of that inning. Well, someone look that up. Someone look up Hidden Gems 2023 Bowman Baseball on the secondary market. See what those have been going for. Wow, it's 130 point. Yeah, we love using 130point.com slash sales. At Nolan Gorman, it's $250 plus. Super short print case hit type of thing. I don't think it's a case hit because they don't fall one per case. So it must be just a super short print. Oh, well, there you go. Jeremy Port 
So I'll randomize the Cardinals. It's another thing to look for on the checklist, see what teams have have those hidden gems inserts. Because wow, Eric's saying a Julio Rodriguez hidden gems insert, $751. A lot of hidden gems in this 20. I know, I know it's a long break, you know, might not be visually the most entertaining. But man, there's a lot of prospecting to do in these cases. You're like a you're like a 49er in the California Gold Rush or something like that. You gotta you gotta really kinda dig deep. Second to last box. Acuna and a Willie Mays around 400 bucks. Wow. Well, yeah, I would go to I would go to a checklist, kind of look up all the teams that have hidden gems. 26 out of 150, Christian Yelich, and just see what happens. Christian Yelich going to the Brew Crew. That's for Chris A. Although this is Kate, this is pick your team sixteen. This is the first time I've uh, this is the first time I've seen this. So they're very short printed. Although I feel like this it looks familiar. Maybe oh sorry the Acuna Willie Mays negative on that. Sorry Eric Houston's walking the back. The Rodriguez is is twenty twenty three Bowman. Did someone put a hit like this in our big hits channel? On Slack? Maybe that's where I saw it. Maybe personal breaks have pulled one of these. Sorry, let me just scroll through here for a second. No, I'm looking at the last couple of weeks. No, 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 we haven't. Yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. Ooh, is this gonna tie the game? Let's go Will Smith. There you go, J.D. Martinez with a run-scoring single. Right, let's get one more, guys. Let's call it a night. We've got Kevin, the Devil Wears Parada. 87 out of 99. Mets, that's going to go to Scott. Team he bought straight up. 87 out of 99. Number 27 on that Bowman Scouts Top 100. That's J.D. Martinez, game-tying single. Don't see hidden gems listed on the Bowman spreadsheet? Have you checked like a uh, cardboardconnection.com? Do they have a hidden gems section? No, come on, Trace. He's, he's, he's acting like his brother in game six. Bad, bad, bad week for the, for the Thompsons. Here's Max uh, Wagner, or Wagner, to 75, yellow lunar for the O's. That's going to be for Aaron Billingsley. 
Trace Thompson just got picked off on first. His brother Clay, of course, didn't really show up in game six for the Warriors. Damn, and Hayward strikes out. Come on. All right, keep going, I guess. Who was the hit? Oh, it was Nolan Gorman. Scott looked it up. He said it was about $250 plus. And here's Kyle Harrison for Scott and the Giants. Trace Thompson had a three home run game like a month ago or so. And I think he's only had like one hit out of like the last 40, 50 at bats. Something crazy like that. He's not, he's been struggling big time. Not sure how long the Dodgers are going to keep him around. Yes, I mean, there's Gabriel Moreno to 150, 90 out of 150 atomic for Jeremy and the Diamondbacks. It's kind of it's kind of weird, kind of rough for. I feel for Trace Thompson because I feel like he's always he's like kind of there. Here's Logan Wagner to 175 for the Dodgers. Mark the set. Like teams keep picking him up because like there's still like potential there. He'll he'll rattle off a string of great games or something like that, and then um, and then he'll just go frozen. It'll be like ice cold for a while, and then it gets released or something. Some other team picks him up, and he goes on a week or two run or something something like that. So it's kind of it's kind of tough. This is his second sin with the Dodgers. And we got Jace Bowen, 364 out of 499. That's Port with the Pittsburgh Pirates. The spotty one in the filler. Chris Jaspi in the background. Bigford still in the game, huh? There's Juan Alonso, 79 out of 150, Blue Shimmer. All right, let's see if we can, Scott, let's see if we can find hidden gems on the back. No, it's not on the back of the box. Maybe on the pack? No, pack doesn't have odds either. Box doesn't, box usually has odds, but not on here. You don't see a source, but someone on eBay says uh, a hidden gem listed at one out of every 175,000 packs or boxes. Usually those are by pack, right? I can't believe CardboardConnection.com doesn't have those, have those listed. That's really surprising to me. Yeah, it's by per pack, right? What about does a uh, Yeah, 
Ja. Uh, I'm looking at... On the Blowout Cards Forum, 2023 Tops Hidden Gems. Oh wait, that's something else. Well, can I go see the post on that? Continue reading. I don't know. There's there's a thread there, I guess, if you want to go through. Go do a Google search and you can kind of do your research. Yeah, apparently the hidden gems is really a hidden gem. There's a mystery, a little bit of a mystery there that we're uncovering. Bickford got two more, two men on base again. Two outs, men on first and second. I wonder what Bickford's whip is. I think it's two. All right, final box. Good luck, everybody. Oh. oh, what a catch. Is that Vargas? That line drive almost took off Bigford's head and gets right into the glove of Miguel Vargas. Woo! See if the Dodgers can walk it off. We got a Brock Jones. Do 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 do. Brock Lobster. Do 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 do. 120 out of 150. That's for the Rays. That's going to go to Mark. Drew Jones paper. There's Nolan Gorm to 175. Pink paper for Jeremy Port and the Cardinals. 
And there's Juan Alonso for the Dodgers. Mark Bissett with the Dodgers. Right. Let's see if the uh, Dodgers can walk it off here. We got Justin Crawford, purple chrome to 250. That's for Scott and the Phillies. And a paper, Justin Crawford. This is on you, Miguel Vargas. This could be a nice little walk off moment. Good for the hobby. Yeah, there you go, Joe Davis. I agree. Oof. Flailing at it. He wanted it. <laughs> he wanted to walk it off. There's Drew Jones' blue paper. That's a, that's a really solid. We're going to do this recap in a second. It's a really solid case. Let's go, Miguel Vargas. Choke up a little bit. 0-2, oh defensive hitting, just need a single. Oh, fights one off. I think James Allen got the day off today. He might be able to pinch it for somebody. There's a righty at the... Oof, a tie, that's high. And the last out, Cam Collier, nice. Good way to end it, and another good take by Miguel Var. Purple as well, look at that. 101 out of 250, purple chrome, on-card autograph, Cam Collier, Scott and the Reds. Scott picked that team up straight up. Scared money, don't make money. Your 18th overall pick. That's really nice. Real nice. Yeah, big hit, Joe Pizzle, that's right. Big hit and a nice way to end it. Wow, what a break. Look at this. We're going to hide some of the bigger hits down here. In addition to all of the color that we were pulling out of here, right? We've got tons of parallels, tons of color in the paper. All right, we've got the Drew Jones blue paper. Justin Crawford, Purple Chrome. All right, and obviously some real solid players here as well. And because this is Bowman, who knows? You know, even the ones that aren't popular today could be really popular in a few years. There's Andrew Painter. There's the Hunter Barco. Another Justin Crawford color. More Drew Jones paper color. The Drew Jones Invicta to 50. The Nolan Gorman Hidden Gems, which we can't find too much information on. Purple Chrome Cam Collier. And Refractor Auto Drew Jones. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, we got another case of this loaded up in the store. Go get after it. I'm Joe for Jaspies, CaseRakes.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Go Dodgers.